Day two of a trial for a Jackson County man accused of abusing a baby. He says the baby fell off a bed and prosecutors disagree. NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz spent the day in the courtroom. She joins us live with now more Elizabeth. Natalie, the 911 call in March of 2015 reported that the baby boy had fallen four feet onto the carpet. After being sent to Rogue Regional Medical Center and then flown to Dorn Becker Children's Hospital in Portland, doctors discovered several severe injuries that weren't consistent with a fall. Now 28-year-old P.D. Henthorne is on trial, accused of assaulting the baby boy and failing to seek immediate medical attention. He's facing charges of first-degree assault and first-degree criminal mistreatment. But the baby's aunt says Henthorne treated the baby like he was one of his own. He was just very loving with him, just like he is all the children, just takes care of him. Kara Ranger, who fostered the baby after the incident, says the damage the baby suffered wasn't just physical. It was very hard the first three weeks to a month. He didn't want anyone to hold him or touch him other than myself. He was very shy. He would turn his head and, and wouldn't look at people. Ranger says when she got the boy, he had multiple broken ribs, two black eyes, a rectal tear, and one side of his body was paralyzed as a result of a head injury. The pediatrics doctor at Dorn Becker said the boy also had an adult bite mark on his face. The baby is now three years old and is still going through physical therapy. The trial will continue tomorrow at the Jackson County Courthouse. Live in Medford, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.